dedicated Coach Corp would like to remind you to stay calm in any emergency situations. Ted is the robot driver of the bus in transit and helps take our characters from one destination to another around the map. When the rockets that Max is sent from the moon to hit the earth in 1996 destroyed almost everything in its path, Ted survived. But as you can see, he is not in a good state. His uniform is torn, it's tattered. As you could see, what was previously used to hide his face, which looks like artificial skin to make him look more human-like, has been torn away, revealing his brass metal skeleton and his glowing blue eyes. His left arm is completely gone, while the remains of his right arm hang limply, suggesting that he may be wired into the bus's steering system. And the only thing that Ted wears that is not damaged is the driver's hat. Ted kind of has a split personality. Sometimes he will be happy and then sometimes he will be angry and take that out on you. And this is because Ted is designed and programmed to show emotion. Welcome aboard Speedway Bus Lines. When Misty and Martin first climb aboard the transit bus, Ted will kindly greet them and happily take the transit crew from one destination to another. However, if the bus gets damaged by the zombies or attacked, or even if Ted gets attacked, well, he doesn't take kindly to this. He threatens and insults the players who attack him. But if you continuously ignore the bus driver's threats, he will attempt to either throw our transit crew out of the bus, lock the doors, or ignore the stops. And when the zombies climb on the bus, he will alert us of their presence in the area. If you attack Ted enough, his eyes will turn red, meaning he is angry normally. When he is happy, they are blue. If you throw an EMP grenade at him, it will turn off for a few minutes, meaning the bus will stop. However, we do know that we can jumpstart the bus by putting a turbine somewhere near it. Stay behind the yellow lines at all times, or you'll be sorry, asshole. Keep fucking with me. See if I don't crash this bus and kill you all. Door privileges have been fucking revoked. Get behind the yellow line, or risk Termination. Fuck you! Now I am not stopping! Fuck you! Get your ass off my bus! No free rides! Bus thieves will be punished severely! Hey, asshole! I'm telling you to stop, or I'm driving you off a cliff! This bus is out of order. A replacement driver has been notified and will be here in approximately 123 years. We're all fucked. That is the personality of Ted. As you can see, he has a split personality. This is a very interesting character. Now, as for his backstory, how he came about, why he's driving this bus, why he's even here is really unknown. We really don't have much information on him, but he is one of our most famous characters, so I'm now going to attempt to tell you the story of Ted. Obviously built sometime before 1996. But suggesting by what Ted tells us, says things like if you look out of your window to the right, you will see the Great Slave Lake. Well, Great Slave Lake is in Canada. Transit takes place in Hanford, Washington, USA. Meaning this isn't Ted's original route. It seemed like before this, he was a tour guide, would take people around Canada or maybe even around the USA. If you listen to a few of his quotes, he says a few different locations. Yellowstone Park. Step off the bus to see beautiful Yellowstone Park. Attention passengers, next bus stop is the island of Hawaii. We're all going to drop. Grand Canyon dead ahead. Now crossing the Grand Canyon. Greenbrier Resort. Everyone off for Greenbrier Resort. Houston Astrodome. All riders off for the Houston Astrodome. If you look out the windows on your right, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the beautiful Great Slave Lake, the cleanest freshwater lake in the region. Touring around the US and Canada, the missiles from the moon then hit the Earth. Ted and his bus were damaged. All the passengers on board and well around the world were killed. Ted survived and as his bus was broken down, Russman and Stuhlinger came along. They saw the broken down bus, helped fix it, got on, and Ted drove them to the next location, which was Hanford, USA, where they picked up Malton and Misty. Once all four of the transit crew were on board, Ted then proceeded to take them onto their next location. But because of the blast from the moon rockets, Ted's programming was messed up. He would mistake his next locations wrongly. So for example, he would arrive at town and say welcome to the Grand Canyon. He would arrive at farm and say welcome 
to the Harp Research Station or welcome to Hawaii. So Ted, the driver of this bus, just take our characters from one place to another until they had finished what they needed to do, which was to activate the pylon. Once the pylon was activated, Ted was no longer needed, so the crew left him, went on to their next location, which was Die Rise. In the meantime, Ted being on his own, something terrible happened to him. Now, we don't exactly know what it was. We know he was missing for a long time. We didn't hear about him for ages. And then all of a sudden, recently, he's popped up again, but this time, he is in zero base, broken. Ted has turned off. He is damaged. Something happened to Ted. He went from driving the bus to now being a piece of scrap in this zero base facility. We don't know if someone kidnapped him and has taken him to this base. If somehow he drove here, drove near this zero base facility, they captured him. I mean, because he is a talking robot. It's a bit weird. And then threw him in this scrap room. We also don't know if Ted's important. If he's here in this zero base facility, surrounded by one of the Origin staffs, the Moon Egg, the Golden Rod, these are all important items. Does this also mean Ted is an important item as well? He does seem to know a lot more than he probably should. And I do think Ted is more important than we actually know. Maybe it's not a coincidence that he ends up driving our characters around. Maybe it was all set up. We don't know. You can tell by the license plate on the bus. It was originally from Colorado. His hat shows the word Bloodhound, which is more than likely a reference to Greyhound Buses, the company he maybe works for. And what's most interesting is that he has the initials or the letters JD scrawled across the left hand side of his base for some reason i i just recognize jd I, I believe i've seen it somewhere else in the zombie storyline but at this moment i can't quite put my finger on it there's something mysterious and off about ted that we have yet to discover in the zombies comics i believe more information on this guy is coming something just something never has been right about it it's just he's very suspicious but there we go that is the story of ted hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you haven't already left a like rating by now then if you could please do that i beg you guys it takes two seconds it'd mean an awful lot if we could go for 500 likes on the video if you haven't already seen my other episodes on the story of samantha the story of misty we now have the story of ted and don't worry the more story of episodes will be coming soon thank you for watching let me know your thoughts of ted in the comment section below make sure you subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one thank you and goodbye secluded wooded areas perfect for hiding corpses or quiet murders coming right up holy crap the bridge is going down farewell i hope you enjoyed your journey with us may i suggest you run